What's up, everybody, and welcome. Carl93 coming right at you once again with another figure review. This time, it's for the Robot Spirits, Evangelion, Unit 8, Gamma. And by first look, sleek, slender, and somewhat extraterrestrial is how I would oversimplify most of the Ava's rebuilt designs. While contemporaries opt for a more mechanical robotic design, the Avis chose an organic approach, giving them an almost alien-like appearance. The Unit 8 Gamma follows that design philosophy to a T, with a few distinguishing traits like the uncanny trihorn head with eight clusters of emerald eyes, the pilot-appropriate bright pink color scheme, and the mechanical cast that wraps around both of its arms. The Tomashi team have proven time and time again that they nail the Ava's iconic silhouette, and since this is that with a few minor retools here and there, Ava Unit 8's visuals is a straight knockout. Moving on to articulation, and this is the part where I let the posing do the talking. Because quite frankly, the Ava's articulations is amazing. Part of it is thanks to the long and lean design, but that doesn't take away from the fact that the Avas are among the most posable figures I've personally handled. For clarity, it's not that the Ava can kneel, it's the fact that the Ava can kneel and make it look as natural as it does standing up. So yeah, with regards to articulation, the Ava Unit 8 crushed it. Moving on to accessories, and let's get the boring stuff out of the way, we get a slew of swappable extra hands. This specific set of hands are meant for the Ava Unit 8 while it has the mechanical cast. Just look for the red near the wrist and you should be fine. You also get a single right palming hand that's a different color from the rest and that's because this is meant for the robot spirits Ava Unit 2 Alpha. Why they didn't just include it with the Alpha, I'll never know. The only handheld weapon you get is this whip, appropriately called Whip. Unit 8 can grip it no problem, and the actual whip part is made of a bendy wire, so you can pose it freely. Now up to this point, we've covered the Ava Unit 8 with the mechanical cast, and what say we break those shackles off? You get a pair of alternate arms that's more in line with a standard Evangelion, and what's a pair of alternate arms without a pair of alternate hands? You also get an alternate berserk face, and Mari is ready to rip and tear. I wish the jaw was movable, it seemed like a no-brainer to make it move, but apparently Bandai didn't think so and you're left with a perpetually open-mouthed Ava Unit 8. The final accessory is this AT field. Unlike the ones included in Ava's prior, this AT field functions like a halo or a mandala ring and it plugs into the Ava Unit 8's back. For an increased effect, you can use the included stand adapter with any non-included Tamashi stand. This mode is achieved through some simple addition. Wink, wink. And for those curious, the AT Field Halo is compatible with any of the OG trio. It's not as secure, but you should be able to snap some quick picks. Let's proceed to size comparisons, and before we bring in a bunch of Avas, let's go through some other robots for a more varied size context. Here's Unit 8 next to Hagane Works Mazen Kaiser, SRC Gurren Lagan, SRC Gao Feigar, Robot Spirits Fenex, and let's bring in the Avas. Here's Unit 0, Unit 1, Unit 2, Unit 8 ICC, and finally, Unit 2 Alpha. Nearly a year ago, I shared the opinion that the Evangelions are among the best offerings when it comes to Robot Spirits. The Ava Unit 8 Gamma does nothing to make me reconsider that claim. Posability is still high, playability is still dynamic, and the accessories you get is still plentiful. Having said that, I can acknowledge that we got a lot of accessories, but I still feel that we could have gotten more. This is the Ava Unit 8 as it appears during the big battle in Thrice Upon a Time. The Unit 8 and Unit 2 Alpha went through a bunch of weapons that are strangely missing from either release. I have a sneaking suspicion that Bandai may release an Operation Yamato weapon set down the line that includes those weapons, and also don't be surprised if we get more Unit 8 releases in the future, as they already teased the Unit 8 and Unit 2 from the third rebuild movie. And that's pretty much it. There should be another Robot Spirits Ava review later this month, and it's been a long time coming. Until then, see you next time.